Hello witches, it's Stregabella. Um, my husband was kind enough to go pick up my kids from school today, so um, I have a whole couple hours of being alone in the house. I thought I would make a video. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, some of the books that I've gotten over the last couple months. Um, I haven't been doing um, too good at making regular uh, videos when I get stuff in the mail or... Um, when I when I've been planting and doing stuff so I have kind of a catch-up video as far as some books that I've gotten um, and some witchy items and things like that that I've gotten so um, first of all I wanted to show you guys this cool ring um, I really love lapis lazuli and um, I've never had um, any jewelry with that stone so for Mother's Day I ordered myself this ring Pretty cool. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was like $40, um, but it's really nice. Um, so I wanted to show you a bunch of books that I got recently. Um, I will try to go in order or kind of group them together a little bit. Um, I don't know if I ever showed this one, but I read it and it was really good. I think it's worth reading. Um, it's very detailed as far as what people go through um, during addiction. Um, it's by Aleister Crowley and, um, you know, we all love him and his stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I think this was based on some real stuff. Um, but it, he writes it like kind of like a fiction book. Um, but it's about it, the experience of this couple who, um, are her heroin addicts and they're in love and they kind of are traveling together and um, addicted and it's very realistic um, from what I know about um, addiction and stuff like that and I guess at the time this book was written um, I think it was in the 1920s or 30s um, this was like a real eye-opener um, you know drug addiction wasn't something that people really knew a lot about mental health wasn't um, as widely known about or understood as it is now um things like that were kind of hush hush although during this period i think a lot of people did have addiction problems um drugs were um available um then and people had terrible addictions but they were kind of pushed into um a like an underground kind of lifestyle so it was a really good book um some of you may not know but um the illuminati has come out public some people thought it was kind of um like a a fake a scam kind of thing but um they published a couple books to dispel the conspiracy kind of stuff and to give some education as to what their group is about who they are officially affiliated with and who they're not um how to tell the fact from fiction because there's a lot of stuff out there about um you know what people think about their their group um what they think about um things they were involved in and had something to do with throughout history and all of that so some of the books and the website stuff clears up some of the misconceptions or at least what they want to publicly um admit to or not and um this is the second book i have the first one if i can find it um it should be on my bookshelf somewhere um oh here it is um, I think there's three out. Um, I have the third one coming, but I haven't received it yet. Okay, this was the first one. It was called the Illuminatium. Or, yeah, Illuminatium. Um, the First Testament of the Illuminati. And this one is called Illuminations. Um, Wisdom from the Planet's Greatest Minds. Um, I've read both of them. They're really quick and easy reads. But, um... I don't know. So far, it hasn't really told me too much that I didn't already know. But for somebody who doesn't know a lot about spirituality, um, who, who isn't involved in any kind of witchcraft practice or any type of um, meditative, spiritual awakening, know yourself kind of stuff, um, this could actually be very helpful um, to somebody who's really simple and coming into it for the first time. But um, for those of us who have been practitioners, especially in um, anything involving um, like, uh, you know, serious rituals, um, that might not be something you want to invest in buying a new copy. 
because um, you're going to read it real quick. Um, my husband surprised me with this one. And um, I was very pleasantly surprised because he doesn't often pick books for me because um, he's not a reader. He knows that I am and he doesn't usually feel brave enough to pick books for me. But um, I was um, at recently I, I've had an interest in learning about very ancient um, practices like from the um, early, early civilizations. Um, Syrian, Persian, Babylonian, um, Egyptian, that kind of stuff. So um, I was very interested in learning about the earliest civilizations and what gods they worshipped, what their practices were like, um, and all of that. So um, this was an awesome, awesome book. Um, it ha it's a lot. It's really um, biblical. It's from a Christian perspective, but um, it, it's if you want to learn, I think all anybody who's in, in, into um, paganism and witchcraft and all, all that kind of stuff, anything about the mysteries and finding truth, um, I think you should read both the Bible and the Satanic Bible. Because the two of those together um, really give you a good, firm foundation and grounding as to um, the belief systems from both ends of the spectrum. Um, I have not yet read the Quran, but I plan to do that as well. Um, that's another major book um, of major religious, you know, a huge population of people who believe that book. Um, I think as pagans and practitioners, we need to know what um, what we believe, have a solid foundation of that, but also of what other people believe. If you're going to stand up for something and you're going to believe something, you should really understand why you believe it and all of that. Um, this book came with a disc. Um, I, haven't, I haven't used the disc yet, but um, it's for, I guess, teaching perspectives um but i'm really interested in learning about um babylon ancient babylon and some of those um like xerxes and um darius the great um really what made those men tick and why uh, people revered them to um the point that they believed them to be deities and they had their kingdoms were so huge um there haven't been any, I don't believe, since then, um, besides the Roman Empire, um, that have been so enormous and extended so far, successfully, too. But anyway, um, so that's a good read, um, and most of you probably have heard of Christopher Penzak and his, um, series, so the one that I'm doing right now is the Living Temple of Witchcraft. I am I accidentally bought volume two first, um, but I have volume one coming. Um, I've only gotten um, into the first few chapters of um, this one, so if if I skim through the first volume and I think it's better to do that one first, I may um, hold off on finishing this and doing the other one first. Because um, when I looked at them online, they looked the same, and I thought they were just um, like an updated version, but it's actually a whole different volume, um, two, part, two parts to the Living Temple. But um, for any of you who have done his series, you know it's really awesome. I love the fact that he gives um, assignments, like writing assignments, um, meditation, and things to be doing with each um, next lesson you're supposed to kind of build upon the practice that you know like build upon each thing you're doing and um it's very academic oriented so for those of you who like the structure of um learning in a school environment getting assignments having accountability um his series is just amazing i've grown a lot from um doing his uh, books i have just to show you, I have, um, this one's pretty new. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this one. Um, this one is the Temple of Shamanic Witchcraft, um, Shadows, Spirits, and the Healing Journey. Um, this is not witchcraft. Um, it's different than that. 
it's kind of like a he he took a little break from um the witchcraft kind of topic but it's still very witchy and um it's still very relevant for those of us who like this kind of stuff um i also have the outer temple um, this has to do with kind of the outer physical casting circles, doing ritual, that kind of stuff. Um, what else? Um, yeah, I have the outer temple, the living temple. I thought I had another one. My books are not as organized as I would like right now. Um, but he has a whole bunch um, of these, this series. Um, I also have, this is not um, from the same series, but this is also by Christopher Penzak. It's um, The Gates of Witchcraft. Um, the Twelve Paths of Power, Trance, and Gnosis. Um, I haven't read completely through yet, um, but I've skimmed through it and read some of it. And it is, it, it is pretty good. Um, I don't like it quite as much as the, um, the Temple series, but it's still a good read. I also have, um, I got this one too. I think I got free shipping if I ordered, like, another book. So I got The Witch's Shield, Protection Magic, and Psychic Self-Defense. This has, um, some stuff in here that I haven't found in other, um, protection books. I have a lot of, um, you know, we all have a lot of books on a lot of different topics, and sometimes they can be, um, relatively repetitive, but, um, there's some stuff in here that I haven't come across in other books, so it's definitely worth getting, um, and reading. It also came with, um, a disc. I haven't, uh, looked at the disc yet. Uh, CD Companion, Explore Your Inner Temple, Your Personal Sacred Space. With, yeah, so this, um... Oh, it says that this is um, designed, actually, to complement um, the Inner Temple of Witchcraft. So, this might be good. I do have the Inner Temple. I don't know why. I don't see it. I thought I took them all out for you guys. Um, I know I have that one. But anyway, I'm sorry. I'm being very distracted. But anyway, um, it's designed to go with the Inner Temple series. Um, that one is awesome. I have that one. I was actually just reading it last night, I thought. Oh, here it is. Okay, I've got it. Sorry, I'm dropping everything. Um, yeah, the Inner Temple. I got this one used, so somebody cut the um, triangle out of it. But this is Magic, Meditation, and Psychic Development. Um, I really like the Inner Temple one because, um, for me, uh, my imagination sometimes, um, needs to be prompted to really get it working, and this one helped me to do that. Um, the Inner Temple <clears throat> has you kind of go deep inside your own psyche and, um, explore all the different areas of your inner inner self and set up ways to access parts of your um, of your inner being that can one of them is to help for healing one of them is guidance one, um, one of them is um, to connect to your spirit guides so it helps you to learn how to access those things more easily and um, as you need to um, I think this is the last new book, and this one is The Feast of the Morrigan. Um, I got this one a while ago, and I read through it. This is not a goddess that I really work with, but I was just interested, um, in learning more about her and reading. I like to, um, you know, learn the different stories behind, um, all the different goddesses and their names. I do like dark goddesses, um... And I like working with the dark aspects of certain goddesses. Um, for me, that's been immensely healing. Um, when I first started uh, being involved in witchcraft, I didn't really um, indulge too much in learning about the dark. 
but once I felt ready and I started to be able to do that, um, I found it very different than what I expected. Um, working with the dark energies was hugely healing. Um, it helped me to come into my own. It helped me to overcome um, things that held me back and fears that I had in my life. Um, and it really helped me to tap into my own inner strength. So that is it for the books um for now i have some more books i believe coming in the mail and um i i have a <laughs> a haul of incense i'm not going to go through them all but um i ordered a a lot of different um incense from my favorite store in Salem um, the Salem's Magic Shop and I'm thinking I might go there tomorrow um, I have to go up north to pick up um, some prescriptions and I think um, my doctor's office is only um, a couple exits away from Salem and uh, I might actually if it's nice enough weather which it should be um, I'm thinking of taking a trip there, so maybe I can make a video um, if I do. And um, that's about it. I've been working on cleaning out my porch for the summer um, to do some more um, witchy stuff out there. Um, I actually had a huge <laughs> like a bonfire in my porch not intending it to be a bonfire, but, um, I was doing some ritual, I think it was the last full moon, um, and I was burning stuff that, um, was from my past that I felt it was time to get rid of, get rid of, and, um, <laughs> I had my, my, um, cauldron, and I was burning papers, but it turned into a huge bonfire accidentally, so, yeah, I almost cut the house on fire. So I hope you enjoyed this and blessed be. Bye.